Hi guys, it's Sherry. Today we're going to be making a pair of earrings using our red Primo clay and our black Primo clay. The first thing I did was I rolled my clay out to the thickest setting on each one and then I am just going to cut slices here. And I'm going to do different sizes and it doesn't matter how long or big. We're not going to be using a lot of this and I just want um, thinner slices of the black but thicker slices of my red. I just want a hint of black in each area so it does not have to be thick. And you can see I'm not worried if everything is like perfectly aligned. This is going to be a really simple, easy pair of earrings for you to create. that there and I'll use this little scrap piece here so you see how like nothing has to be perfect I just want to make this a simple easy project and cut off a little bit of the extra here Push that together and make sure that it's all stuck together. All right, so now I'm gonna run this through my pasta machine once on my second thickest setting. And then I will fold this. And I'm gonna run this through again. So that's what you get and I'm going to continue doing that till I get the blend that I want. And there's my blend so you see there's just a hint of black peeping through. That's exactly what I want. Then I'm going to get my gold leaf. Make sure that's down nice and then I'm going to get my stamp and I'm going to push down on this and I want a nice impression on this. So I'm going to take my roller and then I'm going to push down and make sure I'm getting a really nice impression. Now I'm going to take my blade and just carefully start taking off some of this top layer. Can you see those designs in there? And I want to put more of an impression over here. So I'm just taking off the top layer here. And I love this because you get just a little hint of the red and black that are peeping through.
I'll fix that. I'm going to take a little bit more of the gold leaf because I can still use this clay. And now I'm going to press down one more time. And you want to make sure you're getting a nice deep impression so you can peel off those little edges. how gorgeous that looks. All right, let me roll out my next piece so I know if I have plenty. This time I'm just gonna, get, oh, I have black right here. This time I'm just gonna get my black. I'm gonna lift that up carefully because we may be using that again. Okay, so now I'm gonna run this through my pasta machine on my thickest setting. All right, so I have that down. Now I'm just gonna take these little pieces and start laying them down. And by blending the black and red together, it's not so dark red, you know, bright, I guess you could say. That's why I love blending it together. It gives it more of a darker red. And I think it looks so, so pretty together. So now I'm just gonna lay my pieces down I'm going to put them in different areas. Oops. It's too thick. I am not going to mush this down, so to speak. I want to keep this where it has that 3D look. And I'm going to add a couple small pieces there. So I want a small little piece. Add that to that area. So I want a little black popping through, but not too much. And I'll take off that little excess. And let me lift this up to show you. See how neat that looks? I love that look. All right, so my next step is just to make my cuts. And I like the black showing in that one area There's so many different areas that we can cut through. I'm just kind of getting a general idea. A 
like that. Let me lift that up. You see, look how beautiful that looks. Each one is so unique and beautiful. And that one, you could really see the rose with the red. All right, so I need one more. And I'm going to have to put something there. Actually, let me... I'm going to... I wonder... Nope, just a little too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer off. I just need a little section over here to do my last one. So let me figure out how I want to lay this. And that will determine where I need to put it. I'll put this right here. Beautiful. Ah, gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. All right. Very happy with those. All right. So now I'm going to place each one of these in my oven. 275 for a half hour. And then we'll be back to finish these up. My pieces are out of the oven. They cooled off. I think they look fantastic. I'm super excited about how these are coming out. The first thing you wanna do is sand everything down. We wanna get our edges and we don't have to go all crazy with them. So just clean up the edges and the back. I'm gonna do the back real quick. So look at how beautiful that looks. How gorgeous does that look? I love that you can see the roses throughout the piece, just so beautiful. All right, so next we want to make sure that we um, put our holes at the top. So I'm just gonna use my drill and then I am going to make sure I leave a, enough space uh, where I'm not going to get too close to the edge. Okay, then we want to get our mat here. Let's see, I'm gonna use, nope, not that. I'm gonna use this. This way I could carry my pieces right over once I put the resin on. And I always use my little poker tools to make sure that my pieces stay in place as I'm pushing the resin around. And then I love these little sticks. They are wonderful for resin. And you wanna make sure that you coat your piece really well because it has all these little crevices and if you don't pull your stuff all the way over, you will miss some of it. So just take your time when you're playing with resin and you have these crevices. And I love this J. Diction resin because it really does stay put. It doesn't kind of pour over unless you do obviously way too much. But I haven't had an issue with it pouring over the sides with my um, clay at all. So now I'm going to get my lighter. Make sure I have no bubbles there because you don't want bubbles in there. It'll make your piece look yucky. And now I put this under my light. All right. So I took these out from the light and then I ended up putting my marker, my chrome marker around the edges. I want to give it a nice, beautiful shine. And now I am going to put my resin here. And just to do the marker, you're just coloring it right around the edge. I unfortunately forgot to hit the record button during that moment. 
I'm just going to do a very thin layer because I want to make the back shiny like the front. But if you don't want to do that, you can skip that process. I just think it looks so pretty when you have the shininess on both ends or both sides. I'm sorry. I cannot wait to show you what these look like finished. They are so, so beautiful. All right. My pieces are completely cured. And now I want to show you guys how beautiful these all look. Look how gorgeous they look. I love that we can see the layers of the roses and just the red and gold popped out with the black behind it. Just gorgeous. I ended up doing these as well. This one, do you see how the red is popped out with that rose? How beautiful. So I'm very, very happy with these. I think this came out super nice and I love the black showing through. So lastly, I'm going to add on a fancier top here. I thought these would look really nice together. Okay. So the first thing I want to do, every time I get these type of things, it seems like the little um, loops down here are always partially open. So I want to make sure they are all closed before I do any of my project here. You see how that's open? I don't know why um, some of them open up like that. But you got to be careful because you don't want to snap them. All right. Oops. So take your jump ring, your pliers, open it up. Oh, okay. So that I have resin in there. So let me get my drill. I'm going to reopen that. That's open, open. So it looks like I only had one with resin in it. And I'll add my top. And close my piece, oops. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. I really love this style. I don't do it very often and I should probably start doing it more often because it really is such a pretty, pretty design and style of doing your pieces. And such an easy way to do unique pieces as well. And there are the earrings. So beautiful. I am super pleased with these. I really hope that you guys like these as much as I do and that you enjoy creating these along with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.